just trying to figure out where the Photos app on your Mac is actually storing your images make you feel like this? Because it does for me. Do you maybe want to start using Lightroom, but Lightroom can't find your photos on your hard drive because the Photos app is literally hiding them from you. So today I'm going to show you four different methods on how to make the switch and move to the new Lightroom. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, we need to find where the Photos app is actually storing our images on our hard drive. So there is a folder structure, you just need to know where it is. What you want to do is you want to navigate to your user profile, you, go under pictures, and then you want to find your photos library. In order to see where they are, you have to right click and say show package contents. All right, so that's where everything is. And then you got to come in here to your originals. It should say originals on, uh, depending on which version of or which OS you are on. Previous uh, OS will have uh, masters listed here. So either original or masters. Okay, a word of caution here. Do not, unless you completely intend to never use the photos library again, do not move any of these files. Do not move any of these folders that are in your originals or masters. Uh, folder structure here because this is how photos is organizing everything that you've ever put in there. So uh, please save yourself the trouble. Um, don't poke the bear, okay? <laughs> you do not want to mess with these. It will literally break your photos library. So um, anyway, just be careful with that. And this is awful the way that this is set up. So I've got zero through F and they're all different dates of when they were brought in here. Um, I've got videos, I've got, oh, he's cute, JPEGs. There's no rhyme or reason to this whatsoever. So today it looks like it put some stuff in here, April 19th. Okay, so there's one of the ones that I put in today. Good luck finding that when you need it. If you actually needed this file, this is why I loathe and despise the Photos app because apparently some of them went in here and some of them went in here. Why? Why? I imported these, this one and that other one that's in a different subfolder. I imported them both 10 minutes ago. So one of them went in here and one of them went in there. That's just stupid. And something else went in here. Makes no sense whatsoever. But Apple assumes that the average person never needs to see these, you know, move them or heaven forbid, use another editing program to actually manage your images. Now you can edit in photos. Okay, but my editing capability in here, you know, it's okay. It's got white balance curves, levels color, vignetting, basic stuff. Uh, okay, so if if all you want to do is basic stuff, then s stick with this and don't worry about it. But if you intend to move to Lightroom, and I don't mean Lightroom Classic, I mean Lightroom, you have to find a way to get these images visible. And the only way they're visible is in here. And this goes for any photo editing system or software that you'd like to start using in place of photos. So Luminar, On One Photo Raw, DxO, they all have to have access to these files. So when I go to Lightroom and I go to my local tab and I browse my computer, pictures, where's the photos app? Okay, it should be, okay, under pictures, what do I see? Digital images, digital images, focus stacking, focus stacking. These should match up, right? Photo booth, photo booth, photo transfer app, photo transfer app. They're identical, except for that. <laughs> I cannot access it here. So what do we do? 
All right, the first method that I'm gonna recommend is probably for anybody who has thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of images in your photos uh, collections there uh, within the app on your computer, this is probably gonna be the best 25 bucks you've ever spent. The big mean folder machine <laughs> knows all about the shooting dates, the times, your JPEGs, your RAW, everything, all right? And literally it says fancy organizing your photos by year and month, click done. Prefer a deeper hierarchy with year, month, and date, click done, okay? Your music, you can do batch folders, you can merge folders together. So it is probably the fastest, easiest way to organize your, your photos, okay? There are YouTube tutorials on how to to use this program so or this app, so I would definitely look into that if if you don't want the headache of everything else that I'm about to demonstrate. One thing that you can do, go to cloud, go to file, go to migrate from the Apple Photos library. Okay. Migrate to Lightroom. Lightroom provides cloud storage. Okay, so should you decide to do this and you click on continue, it will start migrating your photos to Lightroom cloud storage. If you're on the $9.99 a month, 20 gigabyte cloud storage plan, this is not going to work for you. You better be on the one terabyte. All right, I cannot navigate to that folder. It will not show it to me. Okay, the Mac is designed to not allow access to that because it is doing everything that it can in this photos library to keep things organized and easy to find for you. Okay, that's why you've got your albums and your projects and things like this, okay? But that still doesn't help me. I, I don't wanna use this anymore. I wanna be able to edit these images in Lightroom. There's a couple of things that you can do, all right? Number one, you can use the big mean folder machine. Number two, you can do that migration. Don't advise it if you don't have the full terabytes worth of cloud storage, but if you do, go for it. It's gonna take a long time, but go for it. If you want to just start using Lightroom from this day forward, treat it like a marriage. From this day forward, I commit to using Lightroom and no longer using my photos app. That means from here on out, you're going to start importing things via Lightroom. You're just gonna bring them, drag them, drop them on your desktop somewhere. Create a folder, create a folder structure, however you want. It's very easy for me to find things. My Southeastern coast folders here have my recent work. All the stuff from my gardens and plantations that I take locally here are in this folder but they're they're on my desktop i can see them easily all right southeast coast recent work garden scene plantations that's where these files are okay i'm looking at the same thing gardens and plantations let's move this over so we can see them both okay so this looks exactly like this it's just a different color they, not, they may not be in the exact same order. This is done alphabetically. This is loaded by uh, how recently I put them in here. Your file management will be completely and utterly under your own control if you use Lightroom. It is completely and utterly out of your control if you use the Photos app. Okay, the only way you have control over this is, is the albums that you create my albums, my projects, the way that you organize things within this program. But once you get out of this program, you can't find anything. I mean, you can, but it's not going to be easy and it's not going to be fun. You can just rip off the Band-Aid and just start using this. And then if you want to reference your older images, all you have to do is go back to the Photos app and reference your older images. And then from here on out, say in 2024, I'm just going to start using Lightroom and that's it. If you do not wanna just rip off the Band-Aid and start using Lightroom all by itself and just only come back to this program when you need it, 
is to simply export this one image and say, all right, I, I want to send this uh, someplace else. File, export, export the unmodified original and send it somewhere. Create a folder on your desktop somewhere that all of these things can be easily located. And then you go back to Lightroom and you go to that folder and anything that you've exported out of photos, you'll see it here. Just make sure you export the original so that you can have the high quality version to work on. Or if you have done some editing within the Photos app and you want to transfer those over to the new file that you're going to read in Lightroom, just export the one photo. Don't export the original without uh, any of the adjustments and then you can have those uh, edits with you when you see the image in Lightroom. And you can do that. You can do that image by image if that's all you want to do. If you want to continue to organize and keep your images within photos and keep using this app because you've, I don't know, got them hooked up in the cloud and you can see them on your phone and your tablet and everything's super convenient for you, then, you know, don't 100% move over to Lightroom. Just grab an image and kick it out when you want to work on it, when you want to edit it further than what this program is capable of doing. So to sum it up, these are your four options. So number one, the big mean folder machine, which costs a little bit of money, but will save you a huge headache. Option number two is to use the migration option that is available within Lightroom. And again, that was up here, but it's in the cloud. It's not available in the local tab. You have to go to the cloud and then you say file migrate from. Option number three, rip off the Band-Aid and just quit using photos and just start using Lightroom. Develop a workflow to work within this program. I think in the long run you'll probably be happier because there's an app on your iPhone, there's an app on your tablet for Lightroom, and you can everything's shareable in the cloud. I only have the 20 gigabytes worth of cloud storage uh, that they give you with a $9.99 a month plan. And I manage to keep it under there because I don't add the videos from my phone. I do that separately, but that's a different video. And option number four is to do it image by image. So if you find that you just really want to stay in here and keep things organized and then you want to kick it out one by one, that would be the way to go. I really, really wish there was an easier way to do all of this. I really do. But I wish you luck and I will be doing more videos specifically for Lightroom, both the local and the cloud options in the future. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and then you will know when those videos are released. I'll see you guys soon. Y'all take care.